I just drove, <laughs> gave chase to the police car, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm alone. They would ov overshoot traffic lights, I would overshoot with them. They would drive fast, I would drive faster. And do they, and that, does that therefore mean that you know when the next election is going to be at the same the time? The next election is going to be in 2002, Dece uh, 1992 <laughs> December. Ooh. That's the end of the term, so it is known. Ah, yeah, but yeah, they yeah, start yeah. arguing, although Moi has already served t more than 10 years, they say under Refresh. the new clause, which has uh, a term limit, he will now start afresh in 92. Ah, yeah, 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 That's yeah, how yeah. now he gets to serve up to two. For 10 years. Up to yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay. And uh, Ford split after registration. Matiba is who still the, in who London. Three, who are the three members of Ford? Ford, everybody. That time the movement was together, so everybody. So give me give me examples of Ford. names. By this time, I know Mwaikibaki has left government. No, he hasn't. He hasn't. He left that December. Initially, Ford was registered before he left. Uh -huh. And in Ford was Matiba, was Rubia, was everybody, was uh, Jaramogi. Yes. All of them were in Ford mm -hmm. and Matiba has had a stroke while in detention and is now in hospital in London. Mm -hmm. The detainees, all the detainees have been released. Mm. Even Raila who was in has been released. Yes. Remember our victory was first only the lawyers. They've been released mm. and Raila at one time even stepped out to Germany but then later came back. Yes. So we are all together. What in, in one movement. What was that victory like? Which I is, don't want to skip over that day. The victory of the repeal of Section 2A. We felt very good. And by the way, I was not here. I was in America receiving uh, an award in New York by Human Rights Watch for being a human rights monitor. Wow. And uh, that award came from a very dramatic action. One day, while seated in my office, I learned a telephone call came that they were arresting Imanyara at his Tumaini house. So we all rushed there because people would call each other. Mm. We rushed there. I found his wife and a big crowd. Police are up. He was on the first floor searching his office and they are not letting anybody in. Before we could get into his office, he is bundled out through the back door of Tumaini and where the parkings are and they are bundling him in a police car. Mm. So I have walked there. I didn't go with my car. My yeah. car is in standard building. So I'm shouting, who has a car, who has a car? Imanyara's wife gives me the key to their car and shows me where it is. I enter and I switch it on. I, I'm not even asking the, the lady I've come with in Ruta to come in or Imanyara's wife to come in. I just drove, <laughs> gave chase to the police car. <laughs> and I'm alone. They would ov overshoot traffic lights, I would overshoot with them. They would drive fast, I would drive faster. So we arrive at Kirileshwa <laughs> police station together. They you are get, chasing the Yes, cops. I was giving chase. So, <laughs> so they have carried Imanyara and they are not the following due process. I'm taking action. Aye. You? Aye. And I'm telling you, you have no fear. <laughs> so I am not even calculating what would happen. That's why I even have no time to say who can come with me. Yeah. The question was, was only who has a car. And Florence Aye. gives me, Florence is Florence Imanyara. She gives me the key and there I chase. So... Reaching Kirileshwa, uh, yeah, yeah. I come out. I am not familiar with the ways of the police, so I'm thinking I'm still a free person, I'm a lawyer. So I'm, go, I'm going holding the keys like a car owner. As he's being shoved into the police station by the police on both hands, this tall and thickly built man comes like he's coming to meet me, and I'm almost greeting him. He's a police officer, definitely. Yeah. The next thing I know, he has twisted my hand and taken my keys. No way. You know? So as they are entering Imanyara, they have agreed, I think, that he comes for my keys so that I stop being a nuisance. Okay. So as I'm shouting at him and asking him, how dare he take my keys and what is this? This amounts to assault, all the things I want to say in law. <laughs> they have come out with Imanyara and they are driving off oh, again. Oh, no. <laughs> I am disabled. I have no keys. <laughs> I'm shouting and I realize I can shout myself whilst the man is not moving. He disappears into the building. 
So I just stay there stranded. After about 10 minutes, he just comes and throws the key at me. But you have no idea now where they've gone? I enter the car, I'm raving mad, and I click. They've gone to search his house. See, they have searched the office. I drove to a golf course, that's where they lived, and I, I knew his house. So as I'm approaching his court, I see cars parked on the pavement to block matatus. Mm. See, I told you even me, they wanted to abduct me in, um, in uh, taxis. Mm. So I found two matatus blocking the pavement. I knew they are in his house. I went over a pavement on a different way and I park outside his house. As I'm getting out of my car, they are taking him out of his house and he's battled in a car again and they've driven off. Are you chasing Before again? I even enter the house. I can't chase now because yes, of the, block. the vehicle yes, yes. blocked. Yeah. Yeah. And the ones blocking have moved positions so I can't move out. And there's no mobile phone. So, so they you're move going after this solo. They move now and I can't chase anymore. I give up the chase and return now to town. We have now gone to file habeas corpus, which means produces body. Uh, yeah. Whether alive or so we didn't even know how to do those applications. So Firos Noroje is the one showing me how to do it. Mm -hmm. We filed the habeas corpus. And the next Monday, when he's supposed to be produced, they bring the detention order. He's been detained. Mm. Yeah. At least he's alive. Yeah. He's been detained. Mm. So we know he's been detained. Ibrahim has been detained. Gamino has been detained. Those are the three lawyers. And that's how we begin the whatever. So yeah. when you are receiving the award, you're receiving it for this action? I was <laughs> receiving for the chase. <laughs> that dramatic chase. <laughs> And by the way, I sued that police officer, nice. uh, superintendent, uh, because I came to know who he was, mm. Busiene, mm. for uh, assault and for malicious damage to property because in the course of uh, uh, taking the keys by force, my jacket button, my designer jacket mm -hmm. button mm -hmm. fell off, which is malicious damage to property. And I was awarded 85,000. Oh, you won? Yeah, after two years. <laughs> I've sued the police many times. That's just one of them. <laughs> I haven't even told you. We reached another one where I was battered at the all since. Wow. Mm. First and foremost, I didn't know. Mm. I, I didn't know you were this much in the fight. Mm. When you talk about your law practice, it's mm. like the law practice, yeah, fine, you're making money from that. But the main core of the job is activism. I was actually doing a lot of pro bono work. It was like half profit, half pro bono. Yeah. Because even Mirogi Karaoke, how much could the wife pay me? Because yep. Mirogi was the breadwinner. Mm. Even though he left a partner in the farm, they were saying there isn't money, so you stop acting. You even now become like family. You are the one buying toilet paper and toothpaste to take him to, com to, to committee. You are buying the petrol to take yourself wow. to committee. Mm. Yeah. Because once I get into something, I get in with commitment and passion. Mm. I do one or two percent. Even for a client, if I believe in your cause, irrespective of the ability to pay, I'll go the whole hog. I used to go the whole hog. I've, yeah. I've heard something that you've said, yeah. and my translation for that is activism is costly. It will yeah. cost you time, yeah. it will cost you energy, yeah. or it will cost you money. Yeah. Let's take a break. We're coming back in two minutes.